What's up, Better Days? Today we're at Center Hill Dam. Sun's setting. Sun's going down, big guy. They got one generator on. They're going to turn it off soon. We're going to be out here after dark with no generators on. And we're going to go fishing. I always like to tell you guys when I'm trying to target when I come out. I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you. I've seen walleye, crappie, striped bass. All kinds of stuff cried out here lately. We're just gonna go fishing. Let's start off with this little minnow, little rapala minnow. You say rapala, I say rapala. No big deal. We just grew up saying it different. Oh no, boy, that's one of the pitfalls. You guys see me reaching for my net all the time because I keep it behind me. And that right there is why, golly. It's so easy to run that lure right into that net and get hung up. Set him off the back of the boat. Crappie. That's exactly what I wanted to catch. Please come in. I don't feel like I haven't hooked well. Exactly what I wanted to catch was a crappie. I saw a couple out here last week. I am a sucker for crappie. Oh, what, don't come up. What are you doing? Oh, it's a little sauger. Okay. Okay. It's a sauger. One of the prettiest fish in the state of Tennessee. They gotta be 15 inches to keep, so we won't be hanging on to him. But he ate a little Charlie Brewer slider at three inch on a it's a little three eighths of an ounce jig head. Oh what a pretty fish. Whoa, I'm funny looking with big teeth. Oh, you're funny looking.
Oh, there we go. Might be a trout. He hit that rapala. It's a brown trout. So he's on a trailing hook, which is nice. One soccer. One brown trout. Beautiful catch number two. Not bad for a sunset cruise. Well. going to come out here at night you're going to deal with bats no matter where you are on this river for sure lots of caves out here lots of bats it's a good thing you still have to deal with a lot of flying insects in your face and you still need to bring your bug spray but i don't have as many bugs out here as i do like in a lake scenario not too bad What a pretty night. I like it when there's no fog because, oh, there goes a bat. Oh, there goes two bats. I like it when there's no fog because you can see all the pretty sunset and it's nice and bright out here because they got plenty of lights. And the fog is just kind of eerie. I think the fishing's better when there's less fog. It's level with you. I know the trout really like the fog to burn off in the daytime before they start hitting pow 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 now you can catch fish in the fog i mean they gotta eat like i prefer no fog it's august 28th it's my nephew tommy's birthday happy birthday buddy his brother anthony had a birthday earlier this month Happy birthday to both of you guys. Today was the hottest day of the year. It was the hottest day in two years. Today was 101 degrees, officially. So we came out at night and it is lovely, just lovely. a big dying walleye it's not dead yet but it's big and I've seen several of these out here this year there's a huge walleye kill going on on Dale Hollow I just saw that mentioned in the news it's happening on on Center Hill too I think I don't I don't think they 
are dying down here. Yeah, he, he his back's all scarred. Yeah, his back's all scarred. I think he come through the generator. I think there's a fish kill going on on Center Hill Lake as well. And I think that fish just came, got swallowed up by the generating water and came through the dam because his back is all messed up. Let's see if I can get a shot of it. He's all gross. I don't want to touch him. Yeah, his back's all scraped up. Some kind of walleye kill going on. He's still flapping his... He's still flapping his... He's still flapping his little arms. His little fins. Trying, he's just dying. Crazy. Ooh, shooting star. Man, that was awesome. Zoom, big one. The camera caught that. That was so bright. Shoo! That was a good one. Straight down. There's a fish. There we go, slow rolling that shad, or no, that's that uh, rip stop. It's got nine hooks on it. Hopefully we keep them pinned. Look at you, should be a walleye. It's definitely not fighting, which is what walleye do. They don't fight. Oh, it's a daggum gar. Oh, that's not good. He's gonna try to throw those hooks in us. Oh, that's not good. It's not good at all. What the earth? Oh man. Okay. We haven't hooked the gar. We've hooked the trout that was in the gar's mouth. Look at this. This was in that gar's mouth. That gar was trying to eat this trout. We snagged the trout that was in the gar's mouth with this big lure. Look, the trout's still alive. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Just the more you go fishing, the more crazy stuff happens. That is insane. We hooked this trout that's still alive that was in that gar's mouth that he was eating. And we took away his meal. <laughs> oh, it's an otter. Oh, no, 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 no. We got to get away. There's an otter right there. He is a big dog, too. We don't want to mess with that. Tag them otter. Oh, gone it. Well, that was a beautiful night and it was a lot of fun. Didn't really hit the targets we were looking for. And a lot of that was because we came on the hottest day of the year. Well, the hottest day in two years. They had to run those generators extra long just to have enough power to run everybody's air conditioners. So, that happens. Kind of messed up the fishing pretty good, but there'll be other days. We'll come back after them. We'll get them. I was kind of, oh, oh, uh, we just had a nice little bite. I was kind of hoping to get a little crappie. Maybe go home and make a crappie sandwich, but that's all right. I will eat a turkey sandwich. It'll be just as good. This is Center Hill Dam, Caney Fork River. And right now it's the middle of the night. And I tell people where to go fishing. If you like that kind of thing, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a better day.